side The ocean horizon and you my paradise My lady some cilantro right now they always say or my sister knows that I'm like accident prone so I'm trying to be very careful not to cut myself then I'm gonna do some spinach too because you can never get enough veggies I'm trying to add a ton of veggies in what I'm cooking for my postpartum meal prep because the more veggies, the more vitamins, and it's good for me to be eating nutritious stuff. So, my cilantro and spinach is in here. I'm going to be using the rest of this um, cream cheese. I'm pretty much just using whatever is in my fridge right now. And I had took this out maybe an hour or so ago so it can soften a little bit. I'm kind of like pantry cooking and postpartum meal prepping all at the same time. I'm going to add a little bit of diced onions. And obviously these are not authentic um, taquito mixture. I'm going to add some chicken. This is just hand-fold rotisserie chicken from Costco. We had just a little bit left over, so I'm going to cut this up really small and add this in there. Okay, I'm just going to throw the chicken in there. Okay, and to this, I did add a little bit of sweet corn too. I'm going to add some cumin to this. Salt, pepper, and a little bit of taco seasoning. Just a little bit because I don't want it to be too salty. I need to add cheese too. I'm just going to use Colby Jack because that's what I have. I have a little bit of Mexican shredded cheese left, but I'm gonna save that for my burritos. Let's heat up this stuff. Okay, so I warmed them up. That's a little better. We're going to call these flatas instead of taquitos because I feel like these are fatter, I guess. I'm just putting the mixture kind of in the middle, kind of not in the middle. Maybe I should just flatten it like this. Trial and error, you guys. And then just roll this bad boy up like this. And a lot of people are like, well, why don't you just have people cook for you at home? And honestly, I don't want to rely on other people to make me food whenever I'm hungry. I'm sure my sleeping schedule is going to be a little crazy to begin with. I don't want to have to, like I said, rely on anybody. So I'm just going to make my own food whenever I want. And this is why I'm prepping everything now. I'm just going to speed through this really quick. All of my taquitos are rolled. Some of them are a little bit broken, but that's okay. They're going to freeze and they're going to be really, really good when I either fry them or microwave them. Up. All right, into the freezer they go. Hi guys, so for my next recipe, there's my dog. Um, I'm going to be making pepperoni calzones. 
Um, so if you guys want to see how I do it, then just keep on watching. So this is the recipe and it says to just combine the first nine ingredients and I have them all right here. Sugar, yeast, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, salt, water, flour, and it says olive oil, but I'm out. So I'm going to use vegetable oil instead. Same stuff. And then I think I'm going to speed through this because it's just going to be me dumping things into here. Um, and I'm making a double batch too because I'm going to freeze most of them and probably have some for dinner as well. Okay, now that I have my dough made and I kneaded it until it was elastic and um, kind of sticky. That's how you work the gluten. When it's a little bit sticky, then you know that it's ready. So I'm gonna let this rest for a little bit while I grate the mozzarella cheese because I bought it in a block instead of shredded. And then, now there's some dough. It smells so good, you guys. Oh, yum. All right. Let that rest on the countertop while I get the rest of the ingredients prepared. Okay, now that my cheese is grated and I have my dough resting for a little bit. Here, you guys, the dough. What you're gonna need is your dough, some sauce. This is homemade sauce that I made. I have some backup to Classico if I need more. Pepperonis, and then your mozzarella cheese. So I'm gonna make be making mini calzones. Have a spoon handy to scoop the sauce and a fork to, um, I don't know what the word is, to crimp the edges. This is a dough cutter. This is what I'll be using to cut the dough. And then I also have my rolling pin as well so I can roll it out a little bit flatter. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these into equal dough balls. There we go. Cut this in half. Like so how many do we have here? Is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen mini calzones. So what you're gonna do is roll it into a ball, like so. And then take your rolling pin and roll it out. There are no rules to calzones. <laughs> there we go. Somewhat like a circle. Okay, so you're going to just want to layer some pepperonis. Being careful not to go directly on the edge. You want to top with some sauce. And then put some cheese. And then what you're going to want to do is just fold this over like this and pinch the edges together like so. And then this is where the fork comes in handy. You might get a little bit messy and I might lose out the sides, but that's okay. All right, and then you have your first calzone. Okay, and while the oven is preheating, which is done right now, um, you're gonna wanna top these with olive oil. I actually don't have olive oil. I think I mentioned that already. Um, I'm out, so I'm just gonna use vegetable oil on top of here. And then after that, you wanna sprinkle on some sea salt and Italian seasoning. Little bit of sea salt. 
some Italian seasoning on the top. You're gonna wanna put this in a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll check it after 10 and we'll see and go from there. Okay, and now I got these cooling on a cooling rack. Once they cool completely, then I'm gonna wrap them up, put them in a um, freezer bag and freeze them. Okay, and next I'm gonna show you guys how to fold a burrito. This is how I do it. I don't know if it's like super correct, but it works for me. So I fold in the sides, then fold the bottom up. And then I fold in these corners right here. And then I just roll. And here I'm just showing you guys what I'm putting in my burritos. I'm just kind of basically taking everything that was from my fridge. I had homemade refried beans, so I used that. Some leftover cheese, some cilantro, um, corn, and cumin. And that's about it. So now I have all my burritos made. I just used up whatever pretty much I had in my fridge. I finished this jumbo sized tortillas. Um, and then I have them on here. I'm going to throw these inside the freezer. Mm -hmm.